What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with a fan favorite. We got ourselves a Charizard team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Charizard in Scarlet and Violet, this Pokemon is okay. It's decent. It's not top tier. It's not bottom tier. But with the addition of Groudon in this new restricted format, Charizard kind of gets a boost with this top tier Sunsetter. Charizard's rocking solar power and the life orb as its item in today's video, making it hit like an absolute truck within the sun, especially with fire moves. It's got protect, it's got scorching sands, it's got flamethrower, and it has heat wave alongside with the ground terror type to pair up with that scorching sands, making it do big time damage onto Incineroar. Like I already mentioned, we got Groudon on today's team. Rock and Drought is its ability to set the sun for our Charizard, and we got the clear amulet as its item. It's got protect, it's got sword stance, it's got rock slide, and high horsepower. I'd rather have Precipice Blades, but to be honest, high horsepower works fine with that higher accuracy, and if we get off the of Sword Sands here, Groudon is going to be thriving. Our final four Pokemon on today's team going to feature Rillaboom, Whimsicott, Raging Bolt, and Shen Pao. Rillaboom and Whimsicott more so here for support side of things considering Rillaboom has Strength Control and Fake Out Control, and Whimsicott's here for, you know, obviously Tailwind and reestablishing the Sun, and also has Encore, which is such a solid move. Our final two, Raging Bolt and Shen Pao over here, more of the attacking side of things. Raging Bolt special attacking, Shen Pao's physical attacking. Cannot go wrong with both those Pokemon in this format at this time. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Charizard Rank Regulation G team. Going up against a Zamazenta team in match number one alongside with Grimstarl. And let me tell you guys, Grimstarl is absolutely insane in Regulation G. Such a strong Pokemon, can set the screen, can paralyze, can spirit break for special attack drops. It really just does everything. But if you guys want to check out more Grimstarl content, my last video with Ho-Oh showcased Grimstarl to its fullest potential. So if you guys want to check that out, head over to that video. The link should be down in the description below because it was a recent video. So whatever you guys want to do. But... Like I said, they got Zamazetta, they got Grimstarl, most likely leading Grimstarl, and from here they have no weather control, which is good. So I can potentially just go Charizard and Groudon, which I actually really like here. So I'm going to go into both of them. In the back end, I am going to end up bringing a Pokemon, most likely more like Raging Bolt. But I'm going to need a special attacker to actually deal some damage on the Zamazetta, and Raging Bolt is one of those Pokemon. Um, our final Pokemon, it could be Shen Pao. I mean, Shen Pao works out good here. It could also be Rollaboom, but I'm kind of leaning towards Shen Pao just because it's a solid little Pokemon. This one does have Taunt. Could maybe come in handy, especially up against Zamazenta, allowing it not to go for any, like, big-time moves. But maybe I should have led Shen Pao just to taunt the Grimstarl. That might have been our play. Maybe should have led the Shen Pao and Charizard. Maybe protect Charizard turn one, taunt, and then swap in the Groudon. That's not bad. But my plan here is just to set the sun. I can maybe go into a sword stance with Groudon, get that Pokemon thriving out here. I would love to have Precipice Blades, but obviously, I don't have that. I don't have that. I got high horsepower instead. But honestly, having a nice high accuracy move, not having to worry about uh, missing, could actually come in clutch. So they're going to end up leading Grimstarl. They have Grimstarl Shen Pao going to fly out here, which is not that big of a deal. I mean, Heat Wave can do some big time damage. I could set up a sword stance here. Do I get dancing with the swords? Do I get dancing with the swords? I could even Thrasize in a fire, which isn't bad. And I could just go for a rock side heat wave. I'd rather sword stance though. I'd rather sword stance, considering I think I think that Shen Pao might even protect this turn. But I'm gonna go for heat wave here. I'm gonna go for a sword stance. I'm gonna hope that Shen Pao protects, and I believe Grimstone will probably just setting up either a reflective light stream. Whichever one it feels like doing, right? Let's see. Let's see, but yeah, really hoping Shen Pao protects you. If it does, this Silver Sands is free. We are terrestrializing as well just to deal with uh, like Ice Spinners and stuff like that if they want to go into ground on slot with this, which is definitely likely. It's definitely likely. But they're thinking long and hard here. They don't know what to do. They do not know what to do. And I'm terrestrializing. I'm not dealing with Ice Spinner. So big time terror coming out from us. We're hoping you see the protecting. We're going for Ice Spinners, no big deal, because it's not going to do a ridiculous amount of damage to us. But a nice lovely sword dance is going to be nice. So out comes the Fire Terror. They're going to end up going for a fake out into Groudon. So no screens. No screens. And Heat Wave does land here. Picking up big time damage. Big time damage here. And Shen Pao is going to focus that shot. But it's good to know that our Charizard outspeeds the Shen Pao. He's going to end up going for an Isoc Crash. Can we soak this? 
We do. That's beautiful. Radon's going to flinch here. We do outspeed, and solar power KOs us. Oh, man. Totally forgot about the solar power damage. But hey, I'll actually take that turn all day. That's some nice damage. That is some nice damage. That is some lovely damage. So from here, honestly, let's just thunderclap and set up a uh, sword stance. It's in our best interest. It is in our best interest to just thunderclap here. I'm going to get that special attack boost. I'm going to go for another sword stance. Try to set up Groudon for this game. And I'm just going to go into a thunderclap. If you want to swap out, you can. But, I mean, then you're just allowing a free little sword stance out here. But a fake out on Grimstone just works so well. I'm waiting for the screens. I hope they don't set up screens. We don't like screens. Screens are just annoying. So, from here, we're going for Thunderclap. Just looking to KO Shen Pao. Shen Pao could swap here, which would be a smarter call. But, I mean, if you swap, I still get off my free Swords Dance, which is just wonderful. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. So, a solid Terra for us right now. And Charles are getting off some big time damage. That Heat Wave was awesome. That's some big damage for Heat Wave. Shen Pao wasn't sad, she dies out, and we bring Grimstone all the way down to red. Wish we would have been able to KO, but he's going to go for a Sucker Punch, and it's going to fail, which is actually funny, because I'm going for Thunderclap, which is also going to fail. <laughs> and they might just go for a, uh, I was going to say, they might just go for a Spirit Break, but he's going to end up popping a Reflect here. Now I get off a Sword Dance, which is gorgeous. Sword Dance. Lovely. So we Sword Dance up here. Um, could just go for a Rock Slide at this point. Uh, and honestly, I'm just going to protect you, because I feel like you have to be going after Groudon at this point. And I'm just going to E-Web. I'm just going to E-Web. Nice little web. You could go for Icicle Crash into my Raging Bolt. That is a possibility. But, I mean, that's fine. It's not going to happen. He sets up Reflect. He'll probably set up Light Screen this turn. Most likely. And Groudon and Shen Pao end up protecting here. And there's Light Screen. So Light Screen comes out and about. We have Sword Dance plus two, which is gorgeous. We have High Horsepower ready to go. Rock Slide as well. We have the sun out here for a couple turns. Given Raging Bolt, a nice big special attack boost as well. That's good. That's good to know. That is good to know. So we end up going for the E Web there. Um, do I thunderclap into that? I might just want to thunderclap into that. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna thunderclap into Shen Pao at this point. Could go for a sucker punch too. Oh man. Hmm. I think we do thunderclap into it. We just the the the, uh, the real thing that we don't want to do is take we don't want to take big time damage from this uh, Shen Pao. So I mean I think we just go into a rock slide here and we just thunderclap. I could go for high horsepower, but they still have terror, which they might end up using. But yeah, I'm gonna go thunderclap. I'm gonna go rock slide. We're gonna force him to not be able to go into. Uh, we don't want him going into a uh, an ISO crash. But out comes the Terra from the Zamazeta. That's totally fine by me because I'm popping Rock Slide. I'm popping Rock Slide. He just doesn't want to get hit by a ground move. He's going to go into... Oh, Grass. That is the most perfect Terra type. The most perfect Terra type for my, the Pokemon that I have out here. Thunderclap's going to pick up a KO. The most perfect Terra type. I only have Electric, Rock, and Ground Moves. That is crazy. The most perfect Terra type. This Zamazette is probably just going to win the game now. That hurts the soul. Rock Slide going to connect. It's going to do mediocre damage. I might just have to start Swords Dancing up. But at this point, Body Press could just really get after me, right? They're going to throw out their final Pokemon. It is going to be Fluttermane. Fluttermane is going to Proto Synthesis Boost. And its speed is going to get heightened. So, that's tough news. I am going to have to go for... I mean, I have Shen Pao in the back end. But still. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's, that's tough news. But from here, I'm going to go for a Rock Slide. And honestly, I'm just going to go for a Thunderclap. I really want to just try to KO this uh, Fluttermane. Really want to try to KO Fluttermane. Yep, Thunderclap's going to land. Nice damage. He's going to end up going for a Moon Blast. This might KO me. It does not. Beautiful. And you going for another Iron Defense. That's the real question. Nope, you're going to Body Press and finish him off. So Body Press finishes him off. Rock Slide, can you please land into this Fluttermane slot? Really need you here. Really need you. Thank you. Thank you. That should KO Fluttermane. It does. And I can bring out Shen Pao here. But Shen Pao is going to boost the damage of my Groudon. And the real question is... I think I might want to Sword Dance up here again. And the reason I say I should Sword Dance up is he's probably going after my Shen Pao here. Most likely going after Shen Pao. 
But I can just Swords Dance and start getting a nice little boost here. So I'm going to go for Swords Dance. I am going to throw an Ice Spinner into the slot. I could actually taunt, but I'd rather just Ice Spinner and look to get off some damage while this thing is only plus two, right? Right, so I'm going to go for Ice Spinner here. We're going to look to chunk up some damage. How much is this going to do? Oh my lord, this thing is bulky. He's going to go for a Body Press. So he's leaving my... Oh, wow. He's leaving... My Shen Pao on the field, who is actually just kicking here. And honestly, let's just protect and let's just taunt this thing. Let's just taunt this thing. Actually, maybe should have just attacked here. But I'm gonna taunt. I do not want him setting up another body press. Or another iron defense. Which maybe we should have just attacked. He might be attacking regardless. Let's see. Now he goes for Snarl here. Such a solid play. It's gonna take off Focus Edge and KO my Groudon. Man! That's pretty much game. Unless we get a crit with Shen Pao. Unless we get a crit with Shen Pao. It's the only way. That's the only way. We're just not doing enough damage here. So I'm gonna go for Ice Spinner. Hope that we get a crit here, but this is not looking good. This is not look good. This thing is just soaking. This thing is so bulky. It's plus three. And again, I'm going for a body press. Hold up, Rock Slide. Plus four Rock Slide. You get a crit, but I can't get a crit. That's cool. Gives yeah, KO me, brothers. Hold up, Rock Slide. Can you pick up a KO here? Can you get a crit? No, it's just not doing enough damage. Even plus four. This thing is ridiculous in regulation G. That is going to be game, unless you miss. But, I mean, even if you miss, we're not KOing. But that's going to be game. Body press flying out here. Samazenta is the real deal. I'm going to be honest, Samazena is no joke in Regulation G. This Pokemon is phenomenal. I use it on the channel a couple times, and it works well. I've been going up against it a couple times, and it's been killing it. It has just been killing it. But we're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team here, or I should say Trick Room team. Ice Rider Calyrex is so good in Regulation G. One of the best restricted Pokemon. But, um, I mean, obviously they have Trick Room. They can go into Amoongus and go into Frigraph. But Frigraph is going to be one of their only Trick Room setters, alongside with... Calyrex. Both of them could set Truck Room. But they also have Weather Control, which is kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. I mean, I could go into, like, an Encore here. Encore is not bad, especially for a Truck Room user, but the problem here is for Rigoraf's ability, which kind of annoys me. Um, hmm. From here, I could just go Groudon Shen Pao. I mean, that's a big-time damage all around. They could fake me out. I do have Clear Amulet. Um, what do I want to do here? What's your speed? What is your speed? Hmm. 105. What do I don't really know what I want to do here. I could just go straight into weather. I could go Charizard. Um, you know what? We're gonna go into both of these. If they want to change up weather, that's fine. We'll bring uh Roll Boom and Chen Pao in the back end with Focus Ash. That's gonna be our play, but this one's gonna be tough. They can change up weather right off the rip. They can just go for Trick Room. I feel like they have a lot of options, right? I feel like they have plenty of options. But let's see who they end up going into, right? That's the real question. Who are you going to go into? Is it going to be Incineroar? Is it going to be Frigoraph? Is it going to be Pelipper? It's going to be Incineroar Frigoraph, which is just such a solid one. I mean, I have clear amulet. You can still fake me out, which would be a, a good play all around. Um, hmm. Does he stay on the field fake out, or does he swap weather? That's the real question. That is the real question. I would think he would fake me out more so than anything, but to be honest, I might just double down into this thing. Going with a nice flamethrower. That's what I'm going to try to do. Let's see what he ends up doing. He's going to go for the fake out. He's going to go right into the ground on slot. Flamethrower, how much damage are you doing? In the sun, solar power, stab. Enough. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Let's go, Charizard. Let's go, Char Char. My man, Char Char. So that's some big time damage for Charizard. Um... Solar Power is going to chunk up a little bit. And what's that player? Are they going to go into Pelipper or like Calyrex? That's the real question. They're going to go into Pelipper. So I pretty much know their team, right? They have to have Ice Rider Calyrex in the back end. That's a good time to swap into like Rillaboom. And get Groudon in this back end. And then Charizard, you could honestly just Terrasilize here. You go for Scorching Sands, which wouldn't be bad, especially into Incineroar. I mean, you don't have Solar Power. You know, we could just protect this turn. Kind of read it out. I just see what he wants to do. Swap and roll him, because then we can have fake out next turn. We can really be thriving here. But flamethrower taken out for Riggies in one shot. We love it. We love it. 
So we're gonna hard swap into Roboom. We're gonna have Fake Out ready to go. More importantly, we have Groudon ready to swap back in for uh, Sun again. And we're just protecting Charizard. Playing this one slow. Nice little protect on Charizard. They might go for parting shot Charizard, let's be honest here. Let's see, he's gonna end up going for a Hurricane Charizard, which we block it. Which we do block. And what are you going for with Incineroar? You're gonna go for a knockoff. And that actually gets a crit for some reason and does a ridiculous amount of damage. It <laughs> takes off my assault vest. Alright, so we're ready to fake out. Um, who do I fake out here? Pelipper? They might even swap Pelipper here. Now might be a turn to swap Pelipper. Um, I say we just fake out Incineroar. If that's the case. Let me just throw Scorching Sands in this slot. They might swap Pelipper here. I think if anyone's going to swap, it's going to be Pelipper. Plus, they want to keep Pelipper. I think they need the Protector swap Pelipper. I mean, they could stay on the field, but still, if they stay on the field a little longer, we could just get back out Groudon. And on top of that, Incineroar doesn't have Protect, so. I mean, it could learn Protect, but for the most part, they don't use it. And there's Protect for Pelipper. Awesome. Awesome. Good read on our end. Roboom's just going to drop a little fake out action here. I was going to Terrasilize Charizard, but to be honest, definitely not the play. Scorching Sand's going to fly here and do some nice damage. Another Scorching Sands KOs, which is awesome. Which is great news. It's great news. So from here, they're most likely going to go for like a Hurricane into Rillaboom. I could Terrasilize Fire. But I'm just going to grass the guy to deal some damage on the Pelipper here. I'm just going to stick with Scorching Sands into this Incineroar slot. Look to just KO it. Look to just KO this guy. So grass the guy's going to fly. I don't mind if you go for Hurricane into... Into Rillaboom to KO it. It's no big deal. But Scorching Sands should finish off Incineroar, correct? It does. Awesome. Yo, Charizard killing it here. Let's go, Charizard. Let's go. So I'm guessing they're going for Hurricane into Rillaboom. If you KO Rillaboom, that's no big deal. So I'd rather you KO Rillaboom than Charizard. And yeah, that's totally fine. That's totally fine because now I can bring out Groudon. I can have Charizard in the sun. We're ready to go here. We are ready to go. Groudon. They cannot change out weather. And I still have Shen Pao in the back end. Now, Calyrex is most likely coming out. And to be honest, Calyrex is most likely Terrasilizing. It's most likely Terrasilizing. Into water, probably? And I would think it would want to pop a Trick Room. But to be honest, I'm just going to pop a Sword Dance. And go into Fire Terra. I'm gonna go Swords Dance, and I'm just gonna throw a Heat Wave across the board. And they just cancel battle, so Charizard just thriving out here in match number two. We're sitting one and one. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Moving on to our final match, and this one is going to be tough. Kyogre Rain team versus Groudon Sun team. Their team's looking good. It's looking good, especially with Breloom. I love that Pokemon so much. I'm actually glad this person is actually using Breloom. But they got three ways of setting rain. I'm guessing Sableye has Rain Dance. I'm guessing Tornadus has Rain Dance. And furthermore, Kyogre obviously has the Drizzle ability. They also have Arch Ludon, who's going to be a tough little customer. But I do have Charizard, who can actually tear it in the ground and get some work done from there. But who should I lead? I could go into a Tailwind Center like Whimsicott, which wouldn't be bad for us. And I think that is going to be my play. So I'm going to go Whimsicott here. I am going to also go into Charizard for the lead. I don't mind that. I don't mind a nice little Char lead here. Yeah, and then we'll go Groudon in the back end. And last but not least, I feel like we need a special attacker just to deal with Stamina Boost or Arch Ludon. I'd rather have other Pokemon such as Rillaboom, but honestly, Raging Bolt's going to be fine here. I got Thunderclap to deal with Kyogre. I just need a special attacker, right? A nice big time special attacker because one thing that we don't want is Arch Ludon just boosting with stamina and then just like having insane amount of defensive boost to just body press and electro shot its way to victory. So we need a form of special attacking here besides just Charizard because Charizard, let's be honest, can die out pretty easily. It's pretty elite. It's pretty, it's pretty much a gas, a glass cannon. Oh, I can't speak right now. But they end up going Arch Ludon, they end up going Breloom here, which is no big deal. I mean, I can set Sunny Day. And I think that's in my best interest to just go Sunny Day. And then just go Flamethrower. But I honestly might just want to go into, instead of a Sunny Day, I might just want to go into a... Actually, yeah, no, let's go Sunny Day just in case they swap. I was going to say, we might just want to go into Moonblast into Breloom. 
just in case of the what's it called the spore factor but i'll take this damage all day heat wave's gonna fly solar power all that good stuff we get rid of archer ludon in one shot and this thing is going to focus ash up and that's why i kind of want the moon blast it but i'll take that all day archer ludon gone get it on out my face most likely they're going for spore here yep night night charge that's why i wanted to double down into it but i'll take that damage all day i will take that damage all day long the charge is gonna go slump um we have sun up now so i wonder who they're gonna go into they're gonna go into two tornadas because we're not gonna come out here we're gonna make sure that we get off a tailwind with whimscott and just send it now and they're either going for a bleak wind storm or even a rain dance here but i'm just gonna spam heat wave just gonna spam heat wave tailwind comes out here my charge are slumped see what they end up doing they're gonna go for tailwind they're gonna go for mock punch which we, we soak rather well we soak rather well are you going for bleak wind storm most likely sludge bomb that's odd but it works it's odd but 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 it worked right odd but it worked real odd but it worked solar power is gonna come out, come out here um i do have tailwind up i could go into ground and ground speed's actually really high and i don't mind going into ground on here i kind of want to save ground on to be honest because i can just go e-web here yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna go into raging bolt so i'm bringing out raging bolt i'm gonna save ground on because chances are they have kai ogre in the back end and i'm gonna want to win this weather war so we don't want to keep that in the back end. So Rage Bolt special attack gonna get boosted. Look at Breloom just staring at him. Wow, that's such a perfect picture right there. Just staring at Rage Bolt because he's so tall. <laughs> but from here, we're gonna go E Web to look to pick up the KO. And we're just gonna go for another Heat Wave if my Charizard can wake up. And now they finally go for a Tailwind. Are you out speeding my Raging Bolt? Please don't. Please don't. Charizard's gonna wake up regardless. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight right there. So this should be a double kill. See you later. Charizard killing it right now. We get a crit on Tornadus. It was killing that thing regardless. Get on out my face. Charizard's hitting like a truck here. So if I had to guess, our final Pokemon is probably Kyogre. And this is why we didn't want to bring out Groudon yet. And this match, pretty easy. It's a pretty easy match here. It's a pretty simple, easy match. Solar Power is going to chip up some damage on the Charizard. Chances are Charizard does outspeed Kyogre. But I don't know if I should swap Raging Bolt or swap Charizard here. We definitely want to swap. Get that weather. Because my Protosynthesis is wearing off. But I think we just go for a Thunderbolt here and we swap Charizard. Because let's be honest, Charizard, what are, you, what are you really doing here? Dropping the Scorching Sands? That's pretty much it. Maybe I should have went for a Thunderclap. I maybe should have went for a Thunderclap because if Kyogre outspeeds, it is choice Scarfed or something like that, then Water Spout might still KO my Groudon. Watch well, about this big time damage, especially at full HP. But now comes a pro synthesis boost. We are getting a special attack boost, which is great. And they're going for an origin pulse instead. Okay, we should save that. Yeah, see, Water Spout might have KO'd me. Water Spout just does more damage. But Rage Bolt soaking it, no problem. Thunderbolt gonna fly here. Pick up the KO. It picks up the KO. And this team killing it in today's video, going 2 and 1, encountering rain teams all the time. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Charizard thriving out in ranked regulation G. I love this Pokemon so much, especially paired up with Groudon. It's just such a perfect combo, having solar power pop alongside with the Slave Orb. This Charizard was hitting real hard. one shot at Frigoraphs, Archer Ludons. That's pretty crazy. It definitely is crazy. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread a positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.